is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Today I'm working on a, a new series uh, for me. It's called Defemeramber. It's hosted by Barbara at 49 Dragonflies here on YouTube as well as Louisa Heinzel also here on YouTube. They have a prompt list shared with us of uh, from 1 to 25 and today I've chosen prompt 9 which is which is tea and envelope so I decided to use this passport photo envelope um, I had a spare one and so I decided I would use that because it was small enough Personally, I have never tea or coffee dyed or avocado dyed any papers, but I have been inspired by all the ladies on this YouTube hop about tea dyeing and coffee dyeing. I know Barbara and Louisa both do some, some amazing work. It took a few layers to get uh, some color built up using tea and then and then uh, drying it with my heat tool and I don't know if using the heat tool um, was good or if I should have let them dry more naturally but under time constraints I used my heat tool this time although I am contemplating a coffee and tea dyeing kind of session <laughs> happening soon. Now, as soon as I saw the envelope prompt, I was excited because I know in my stash I have mini envelopes that have been waiting for something to be done with them. And this was going to be the perfect, perfect opportunity, except I couldn't find them. <laughs> I searched through my stash, I found a lot of different kinds of envelopes, but I couldn't find the mini envelopes that I know I have. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> After all of the tea is dry, I decided that I didn't like the boldness of the blue lettering on both sides. So I get out some gesso and just do some finger painting with the gesso to get rid of the blue. <laughs> and of course, unfortunately, that kind of covers up a lot of the tea dyeing that I did, but there, there's some, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's some of it, just not all of it. Next, I'm going to take the paper from the tea bag, so that's the tea bag there, and I'm going to collage it down onto the front and back. I'll put a layer of collage glue, which for me is a combination of matte Mod Podge and water. And I'll use a paintbrush and just collage some of the layers down, overlapping them because I really like how it builds up the color.
It took me a long time to decide what to do after I was done with the tea bags. I considered stamping, but in my stash I'm trying to use up some of the items I've had. And in my stash is this collection of mini menus, and it was on the same color palette as what was happening with the tea bags on the envelope. So I pulled them out and collaged a few of them down on the front and back of this envelope. to tie all of the papers together now I decide to use uh, this walnut this walnut stain it's uh, walnut crystals that I've rehydrated in water and it has this wonderful glossy grungy brown color so I'll dry the walnut stain and <laughs> while, I, while it's drying I'll add more to create the darker tones white uh, and so after it's dry I'm going to take a stencil some modeling paste and just add some texture and break up the background
once everything's dry again, I'm going to use the string from the tea bags and create a little bit of visual interest on the front of it. I'm going to look through Tim Holtz's tiny words until I see something that jumps out at me and it's uh, come what may. Uh, but I need to back it. It's not quite strong enough to hold up against that string on its own. So I'll take the two tea bag little papers and I'll use those to back the phrase and then I'll trim around it and glue it down with Aileen's tacky glue onto that little bundle of string. I really like how it looks and it feels amazing in my hands. I love to touch it. I'm going to add some fluorescent red splatters because on the menu, on the background on one of the menus has a bit of red. And, <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, as I'm looking through all the tiny words and in that little area, guess what I find? The mini envelopes that I had originally decided to do this project with. I finally found them. <laughs> right at the end of this project. I don't know if I'll do another prompt number nine. At least I know where these envelopes are now. Like, <laughs> that was driving me crazy for a minute. So that's it for this project. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and a like. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to leave a comment, it's in the section below. Until my next video, bye bye.